In this video, I wanna share with you five of my favorite hidden Logic Pro features. These are some of my favorite ones, but if I've missed any, then please let me know in the comments. Turn your face into a synthesizer. Let's load up Alchemy. And so Alchemy can be used as a sampler, if you didn't already know that, as well as a great synth plugin. So if you go to File, Initialize Preset, that will reset it and just give you one oscillator there on Source A. If we come into Source A, just got a plain saw tooth wave. But say I wanna bring something in, let's say I wanna bring in, I can drag it over here and drop it in any of these four modes, spectral, additive, granular, sampler. We're gonna go with spectral and you can see the distribution of the frequencies. But if we go to edit, we can then come to spectral here. What you can do is once it's in this mode, you can actually start to draw on it. So I don't know, I could add all these little spots. You can hear that kind of warbling kind of sound now, which is quite cool. And you can change the brush so you could do more transient kind of things. So yeah, it's a bit random, but it's kind of cool. You can just really mess with the sound. Let's try that. Pretty cool. Um, but taking it a step further, you can even import your own face and make it into a synthesizer. So if I go to desktop, I've got some video media from a previous video. And uh, let's see, I've got one there of myself looking like a bit of a knob. And now if I press a key on my keyboard, it's kind of making that very robotic sound. So that's quite cool. You can make out uh, your own synth sound. And you can do the same. You can start drawing on this as well. So you can kind of draw some lines. So yeah, you can get some really weird sounding stuff in here. So my next hidden one is flip the script. Uh, Let's use the Scripter, which is a very cool MIDI effect plugin to mess up our stuff. So let's go to bring in a beat. Cool, that will work nicely. And we're gonna apply some MIDI effects to this. And these MIDI effects are all really cool, by the way. I really suggest you try them out. The arpeggiator is lovely, the modulator really cool. And we are gonna look at the Scripter. So now this looks a little bit overwhelming, but it's actually really easy if you just use the presets. It is a place where you can write code if you know code stuff, but you don't have to. You can just use these presets where there's some already pre-coded ones. So we've got some drum beats in there now. So what if we wanted to do like a, I don't know, like an Aphex Twin glitchy kind of thing. We could do a note repeater. You can transpose it. If I play it. Okay, so you can hear it starting to get a little bit crazy. So that's the... That just came out of nowhere. Um, so you've got the note repeater there. That's just one of them. You've also got the stutter, which is very cool. Stutter V2. And now let's move this one up. And then you can change different parameters down here. So so you've got four different groups here and that you can set up the groups, how many stutters and repeats are in each. So if I move this dial, so you could play around with that and get this kind of very cool glitching kind of effect. These are great if you want to do kind of choppy beats. But there's loads in here of the script. So that's just a few for drums, but there's also some good ones for, let's get some chords up. And let's now add a script on this one. Okay, so we've got harpsichord. Now let's say harmonizing it. So 
So you can start to mess around with stuff quite easily. And then I actually quite like the guitar strummer as well, which turns it more into a strummed guitar sound. Or an arpeggio. See, that would actually sound quite cool now if that wasn't this piano sound. What if I change it to a simp sound? If you just want to tweak an ordinary sound, you can throw the script on, scroll through some of these and just see what happens. So it's quite good for introducing an element of chaos into your stuff. Okay, so the next one is flex pitch to MIDI data. Catchy title. So let's say I want to take some audio and turn it into MIDI. How can we do that? Well. If we go to a track that I recently did a remix of. I want you to sleep. Imagine I didn't have the files for this and I wanted to take that arpeggio, but I didn't know how to do it. So what I could do is first take the stem splitter, split those all out. And I'm looking for this part down here. And say I like that, but I want it to play it with a different synth sound. What I could do is get rid of everything, open it up, go into the flex mode, turn on flex, put it into the pitch mode, flex pitch up there. And you'll notice if you scroll down, that's where all the data comes in. It's a bit lower down for some reason. It always defaults up to C8, which would be really high. So you come down to C2, C3 somewhere, and you'll find the notes that were actually being played here. You can see them demonstrated. And this isn't always perfect, by the way. Sometimes it gets it a little bit wrong. But if we now go edit and go create MIDI track from flex pitch data, what it's going to do is turn that into what it thinks the MIDI is. So it puts it onto a piano track for us. And normally it's quite low and quiet, by the way. You'll see the velocity is down at one. So if I drag that up to just a bit higher and now play it from here. So it's not perfect, as you can hear, but... So that shorter ones should be a bit extended. Those really short ones are usually wrong, so you can normally take them out. Let's just get rid of that. Let's take it from bar three. And then that's exactly what is being played on that arpeggiator. So what we can do is we could put that onto a synth sound, and now you've got a remix you can make. So this is really program dependent. So if you feed it some really complex stuff, it's probably gonna to struggle to break it into a melody. And it works best if you can isolate the melody of what you're trying to figure out. But if you're gonna do a remix, let's say, and you wanna get the main hook and then put it into your own sound, this is the way to go. Let's move on to the next one. Strip silence. And no, I don't mean taking your clothes off quietly. This is really good if you wanna do some sampling. So let's load up a drum loop. Okay, say I like the rhythm of the kick and the snare. I can drag and drop it in. Um, but let's say I don't want that kind of shuffly, swingy feel to it. I don't like those hi-hats. Say I want to replace it with something. So what I can do is if I do control X, what this allows you to do is cut stuff out automatically. It saves you loads of time with the scissor tool, but you can do it based on how loud something is. So this threshold here, if I bring it up, it's going to allow everything through a bit like the threshold on a compressor, but if you bring it down, you'll see it's now isolating these different parts. So the lower down I get, the more stuff I get rid of. So if I just want kick and snare drum, which is probably something like that around there, I'll keep it as that, okay. If I now drop that out, I'll probably will have extracted the hi-hats. Okay, so now I've stripped out the silence or everything that was above that threshold, so there are now no hi-hats here. This is great if you want to do sampling. Stuff like hip-hop, drum and bass, it's perfect. Uh, I could then add some hi-hats. Control X is the shortcut for this. This tool is really helpful if you want to kind of cut stuff out really quickly without having to go in manually and use the scissors tool. And the final one is MIDI Transform Humanize. So let's say I program in a beat. Uh, let's use the step sequencer. And I'm going to just put in something really basic. And crash. OK, so I've got a little beat there. And let's convert that to MIDI. So you'll see in there that that looks fairly flat. 
it's not particularly interesting. It's all the same velocity and it's got no movement. It's got no feel. So what we can do to quickly change that rather than go in and change all these velocities, which I often do and go like this, what you can do is go into the piano roll, do that with P and you go to functions down here. You've got MIDI transform and these are really great for changing your MIDI. So say this one here is one of my favorites, humanize. The humanize is probably my favorite one, but the crescendo one's also very cool. And the velocity limiter, there's loads. Looks a little bit weird this window, I'll agree, but it's really handy just for changing the feel of something. So you've got these free controls down the bottom, select only, operate only, select and operate. So when you have things selected, you click operate and it's gonna affect only those ones. So if I just wanted to affect the hi-hats, operate, and it's just affected the hi-hats. So what it's done here is these different channels, these different parameters get changed. So it's gonna change the position. So it's gonna add some randomness to the position, some randomness to the velocity, and some randomness to the length. That's what the humanize is doing. So now if we listen, and it's got a bit more feel. If I select all of it and do operate only, and I click it a few times, you'll start to see it. It's really changing around. So with electronic music, you might not want to do this so much, but if you're doing more kind of acoustic drums and you want them to sound a little bit more realistic, you might add some human feel, a few little mistakes, a little bit of uh, changes in the velocity, then this is a quick way that you can do that. If you're programming your own drums, this is a way to add a bit more life into them if they sound a bit too blocky. And there's loads of other ones, by the way, I just chose Humanize, but there's load up here. Uh, you can put them all on the same velocity. You can transpose things. You can set a total velocity limit. Uh, you can set a total length. So there's all these different things that you can do automatically rather than having to move them around like this. So did you know about these? Did I miss any glaringly obvious ones? There's definitely more and I know I've missed some. Anyway, let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.